All right, escape from the back. All right, so let's see here. We want to start right here. That's going to be simple. All right, and that's going to be one arm only. So he's going to throw one arm over my shoulder. All right, so usually, you know, that's the arm that's going to put pressure on my neck. So what I want you guys to understand right here is, look at that, his arm is pointing where I need to go. I need to go that way. I cannot go and place my, my right shoulder on the mat. I have to place that left shoulder. All right, so he gets one arm over. That's the side that I need to go. So right now it's simple. The person on behind is gonna pull, get one hand, and then what I'm doing here? I'm gonna throw my, my shoulder on the mat right there. All right, so as soon as I touch my shoulder on the mat, see, I go to the left, and then I turn to the right. So. I want to finish here with my shoulder blades on the mat, my back flat on the mat right there. Okay? So the reason that I go to the left and turn to the right is because I need to undo this here. So if I turn this way, I'm gonna choke myself. If I turn that way, I'm gonna undo the choke, all right? So, because I cannot just turn right here. Oh, one, two. Go back, and he gets the other right there. Look, where do I need to go? I need to go that way. So, shoulder, head, shoulder blades. I'm, fin I'm going to finish the position, looking up to the ceiling. Okay, very simple. Another way to think about that, if you're not sure, is, well, where is open, all right? So now, see, so look at that. He has his arm around my neck. That is not an opening right here, but on this side, that is an opening. That's the side that I need to go. Of course, what I want to do is to go that way, and what he wants to do, he wants to go that way. He wants to make the escape harder for me. So that's why once he gets the position, he wants to go right there. So if I try to do the same thing, look, I have my shoulder on the mat. If I try to do the same thing right now, look, I'm gonna choke myself. I cannot do, do it, All right? So one more time, very simple. It starts with one, Shoulder, head, shoulder blades facing up, right there. All right? So let's start with that. Very simple. I'll give you guys some time. All right, time. So now let's see next. What's next? All right, so I have two options right here. All right, so one option. I'm going to go back to the close guard. One option. The person is gonna try to mount and I get the half guard position, all right? So let's see here, first the close guard, okay? So he has his legs around. Right now he only has one arm over, right? One arm attacking. You're gonna forget a little bit about this arm, all right? So first I wanna show you guys how I want you to do, or what are the steps uh, that you have to do to escape. And then we're gonna add, to, okay, so this is what's gonna happen. He gets the grip right here. He gets the grip tight right there. So where I should place my hands. Right now, very simple, all right? So look at that, pointing, look at the arrow, pointing that way, all right? Shoulder, one, head, two, my back is on the mat, all right? Option number one. All right, I'm able to go and get the top position 
All right, so I'm turning into him. So look at this arm right here is really important. So this elbow is gonna be, I'm gonna post this elbow and I get the close guard. All right, so let's see that again, different angle. So look, he, he got the position and then I go here, one, two, and look at that, my elbow is on the mat right here, all right, I cannot try to go get on top, because he's just going to hip out and stay on my back, all right, so this elbow is really important, all right, so elbow is on the mat, pose that elbow, don't throw your arm between the legs because he's going to hit that triangle, okay? So the arm stays right there. I want to go, go back to the full guard. That's fine. I'd rather be here in this position that have someone on my back, all right? So that's the first option, okay? So let's go. I'm going to give you guys some time. Okay, so now let's see here. Option number two. All right, so as soon as I put my back flat on the mat, the guy tries to go and try to get that mount. All right, so I'm here. Only one arm, still one arm. Look at, he's pointing out, go that way, go that way. Shoulder, head, back flat. And then look what happened. As soon as he gets this position, look at this guy, he's trying to mount. So if I try to beat him and try to go to that close guard, and then this leg is already all the way, so look at that, I'm gonna lose this battle. And he's gonna end up with four more points. So I have to see here if he's, he's stuck right there because I'm on top of his leg. So if he's stuck right there and then I have time to do that. And you see, I have the top position, all right? I'm going to win this battle. But if he's here, he's already trying to mount. And I have the bottom position here. Till I go and get the position, he's already four more points. So I have to go and block his leg. All right, so that's really important. He's going to try to mount. He's going to try to mount. And look what I'm doing. I'm blocking that knee. I don't want him to slide that knee forward. All right, so I'm blocking that knee. As he's trying to mount, look, I'm gonna catch that half guard. As soon as I catch the half guard, look, I cannot be here. All right, because he's gonna retake my back. He's gonna attack the neck. So look, as soon as I catch the half guard, look, I need to turn into him. All right, so again. So he takes the back, one, shoulder, two, I'm here. I see that he's, he wants to mount, look at that. I'm pushing that knee down, all right? He's like between my legs, I'm gonna catch. You see, inside leg goes one. As soon as I drop his leg, I'm turning. And then I catch that half guard position. That's the option number two, let's go. Okay, any questions so far? No questions? Do you guys switch already or no? No? Switch. Yes, switch. Yeah. No questions? All right, so now that is the problem. So, of course, the arm that is attacking the neck is a problem. Of course, this is a problem, all right? I, I have to counter this arm. But well, you know, also this, the arm that is under my arm is also a, a huge problem. Because if I don't break that grip, I'm not able to spin, all right? So I can go this way, but if he's holding like that, I'm not gonna be able to turn into him, all right? So that arm, so now he gets a grip. You know, one grip right here, and then one grip right there. And then usually this is how he's attacking, all right? Of course, I'm not gonna 
as soon as he gets this hand right here, I have to counter. All right, so I'm using same side arm to counter. So I get a grip right here. All right, as deep as I can. Look at my elbow, how I bring my elbow up. All right, and then I'm gonna bring this elbow down right there. All right, even if he wants to get a higher grip right now, that's not gonna happen. All right, so look, these hand, my hand, I'm gonna place my hand on top of his hand right here. Okay, so remember that I cannot go and grab his fingers, all right? I cannot do that. I'm just placing my hand on top of his hand. And then I'm gonna do the same thing, all right? So shoulder and head, all right? So now I have, I have a harder time to turn into him. I cannot even put my back flat on the mat. But once I have this position, now I can like go the, his uh, forearm. I'm gonna place my hand right underneath, right here, my hand. I'm gonna hold his hand and break the grip. Now everything is the same. Look, I go one from this position. I have two options. If I can place my elbow down, I'm gonna go. If he's trying to mount, I'm gonna push to the half guard. All right, so that hand is important. All right, so hand on top, okay? If you try to break the grip like this, that's not gonna happen. All right, so one, counter, two, right here. So shoulder, head on the mat. Look, if I get to this position, if he tries to do the choke right now, I'm gonna have a little bit of time to go and break that one. Break the grip and start skinny. Two options, close guard, half guard, all right? You cannot be lazy here on this position and then let him go and mount, all right? So let's see. All right, time. So Rick has two, has two questions right here. All right, so he, he, he's asking, you he see, oh, what's better? Oh, it's better to get on top and get that full guard or it's better to get that half guard. So sometimes it's not your option, all right? So sometimes, you know, like, and the guy's trying to, you, you're trying to escape and then the guy's trying to mount, mount, and then you, the, 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 that half guard is the only thing that you're gonna get, all right? And then, and then you see, you're like, man, I like to play top, game better so my even that i have a worse position that that's the close guard i like to be on top you know because i'm gonna open i have a chance to score my three points so say or say hey i don't mind i don't even want to try to get the top position because i like half guard all right so if i escape from that back and then i get that half guard position i'm happy with that so i'm not gonna even try to get on top so this is this is what I, what I think, you know, like your preference. You like top game, you like bottom game, all right? You feel more comfortable on the close guard, you feel more com comfortable on the, right there on the half guard. His, sec his second question was about the triangle. Say, hey, you be careful with the arm right there because the person can get that, that triangle. So if you're trying to mount, all right, so I'm, I'm here. What happened here, look. So I get my escape right there. I do everything right. Let's do the other side. Let's go. So I go right there, everything is right. And then look, he throws that leg over the shoulder. I'm trying to get on top. He throws that leg over the shoulder. Look, my arm is right here, that's a triangle. All right, so once you get on top, you need to make sure that you, the arm is over the leg and not on. Even that if you don't place your arm right here, something that the guy on bottom wants to do is to throw the leg over, over the, the shoulder to try. So, and I lost the back position. The guy's trying to get on top. I'm gonna open up, throw the leg over the shoulder. So be careful with that. All right. Any, any other questions, guys? No. All right. So. Hopefully we're gonna finish this week uh, with some uh, 
escapes from side control. Maybe do one more from the back. All right. Uh, so remember that we always, we have all the, the lessons, the online lessons on, on, on our YouTube channel, Ralph Gracie Berkeley. If you miss one class, you just go there and watch the full lessons right there. All right. Thank you for watching today, guys. Enjoy the rest of your night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.